About 12 years from now, a tired Logan cares for a feeble Professor X someplace near the Mexican border. Be that as it may, Logan's endeavors to escape the world and his legacy are overturned when a youthful mutant arrives, sought after by bad men. Hey everybody, welcome back to Movie Mistakes. Today we're going to show you 10 goofs that we found in Logan. How many pounds did Patrick Stewart lose to play the part of Professor X? And why is this the last time Hugh Jackman will play the famous Wolverine? Watch till the end of this video to find out. In the opening scene, Logan has been shot with a handgun and a shotgun, and as usual, he survives. But later in the restroom, you can see him squeezing out what's supposed to be bullets and shotgun pellets, but those look like casings to me. The casings would not have been in his body. In the part where Logan has come to give Professor Xavier a shot to control his seizures, Logan rolls up Xavier's sleeve, as you can see here. The professor resists and ends up falling to the floor, but now his sleeve is rolled down. When Logan arrives back at the motel for Gabriella and Laura, he can see that there's something wrong because the door has been kicked open. Then he finds Gabriella dead and Laura missing. The blouse on Gabriella's corpse visibly moves with every beat of the actress's heart as Logan is leaving the motel. Pay close attention, you'll see it. In Laura's first action scene, she's kicking some serious butt. Logan and the professor are on their way to save her when we notice that the backpack she's been carrying vanishes. So after she flips onto this guy and stabs him to death, she jumps onto the limo and her bag suddenly appears in her right hand. Maybe she has more abilities than we thought. In my opinion, this chase scene was pretty cool. Laura jumps onto the limo and dives into the open roof hatch. So as they make their getaway, you can see that the window is closed. So I guess one of them closed it during the chase, but just a short little while later, we can see the window is now open again. Again, during this chase scene, just before Logan is about to ram the fence, you can see that there are just two bullet holes in the back window of the limo. Good luck getting your deposit back. Well, anyway, just after he hits the fence, which is well crafted, by the way, you can now see that there are five bullet holes in the back window. And I know what you're going to say. Well, the bad guys shot more holes in it, right? Well, then how do you explain when they back up that there are only two bullet holes again? And since we're on the topic of bullet holes, when Logan's dragging the fence when he is driving in reverse, one of the guy's shots puts a hole in the front windshield. That would definitely hurt the car's resale value. Anyway, shortly after they're racing for the train, trying to lose Pierce and his crew, but well, wait a minute, what, what's this? The windshield has healed itself all of a sudden? What's the car a mutant now as well? In Xavier's hotel seizure scene, when Logan struggles to get back to the room killing off the mercenaries standing in his way, the mercenaries should drop down the moment they're killed, at least those stabbed in their heads, since their minds could no longer be affected by Xavier's abilities. Instead, they remain paralyzed until Professor Xavier receives his injection. Logan is set in the year 2029, so I guess 12 years from now we're going to have self-driving trucks? Hey, that's pretty cool! Unless you're a truck driver. Anyway, Logan has almost ran off the road and you can see that there's nobody in front of him, right? Wrong! As the truck comes to a stop, we can now see there is another self-driving truck behind them. Near the end of the movie, the children are making an escape through the forest. Here we can see Bobby is being chased by two men. However, as the camera switches angles, you can see that one of the men has disappeared. Maybe he's a mutant too. Apparently he has the power to vanish, am I right? 
All right, so now some time for Did You Know? Did you know Sir Patrick Stewart lost 21 pounds to play Charles Xavier as elderly and sick? Stewart claimed that he'd had a steady weight since he was a teenager and had never deliberately lost weight before. Hugh Jackman genuinely did hold Stewart in all the scenes of Wolverine carrying Professor Xavier. Also, did you know that this is the last film in which Hugh Jackman will be playing Wolverine? He cited his age and his skin cancer as factors in him retiring from the role. He also said that having a discussion with Jerry Seinfeld played a part in retiring the character, as Jerry talked generally about how he wanted to make sure he never got to a point with his television show where audiences were weary of seeing it anymore, saying, oh, it's you again. Well, Jackman felt fortunate to have avoided this for Wolverine, and he wanted to ensure that it never happened. So what'd you think of these cool Logan movie mistakes? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to tell us what you want to see next, and join our family today by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell now. We'll keep you updated on all of our newest videos. I'm Darren Marlar from Daily Dose of Weird News and Weird Darkness on YouTube. Thanks for watching Movie Mistakes, and we'll see you next time.